welcome back to a next video. Today we're hopping into the 11th episode of the first season of Chuck, titled Chuck versus the Crown Vic. Um, last episode was a very good episode because we had Chuck and um, his old nemesis came back, back from the dead, and uh, you could tell that Sarah still had feelings for him and she's still trying to deal with all that because let's just face it, he died right before this, sh or right at the beginning of this show. So she has a lot of feelings that are still there and it definitely makes for a great tension in the show that um, is definitely good to have. So you have it's obviously you have the will they won't they of it all and this is a good way to create tension and to be a reason why they aren't together so as you know that sarah has feelings for chuck but she also still has feelings for her old partner so that can get very tricky and that can get very um complicated uh to be sure and then at the end of this episode or in the last episode um, she had guys getting a phone call from her two, the two men in her life, and she had to choose, which I thought would have been a great season finale moment. Um, but they didn't do it in the finale, so hmm, we'll see. Uh, so I'm excited to get into this episode to see what happens next. I hope you guys are enjoying the show as much as I am and getting a whole lot of laughs out of this show. So if you want to see my full reaction super early, you can head on over to my Patreon page. The link is going to be in the description below or you know, right here on YouTube. That's fine. Just be sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm ready to hop into this episode, get in a lot of good laughs. Uh, Grogu's ready to go, and I hope you guys are too. So... Here we go. This is the 11th episode of the first season of Chuck. Chuck versus the Crown Vic. Whatever that means. Let's go. You decided to take up bird watching? Yes. That's what he's watching. Oh, we don't know if she went with Bryce or with Chuck. Oh. She's a liar. Not to be trusted. What's that? Women. How do you know she's a liar? I waited outside her house last night in the bushes. I saw her get picked up to go out and then dropped off exactly three hours and 24 minutes later. Okay. In the bushes? Why for a sandwich? Oh, well, that makes it better. Me, okay? You want to try my eggnog? I'm sorry, fellas. It's, it's no, okay. no, no, no. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Man is cheating on me. Ouch. I just like to be that guy right now. Heartbroken over a lady. Bitches and nothing but tricks and hoes. Hey. Come on now. We're not all bad, right? We're not all bad. <laughs> I want to do that. I just want to fling a knife across the room. Be like, shut up, alarm. Oh, what are they getting themselves into? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm scared. Sir, you dropped this. Flash! Forget the flash! Forget the flash! Perhaps we should be scheduled when Agent Walker is feeling better. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm late. Carry on. Oh. There she is. All right, she's here. Now devotes most of his time and money to eight projects. Will Chuck and Sarah be going as a couple? Unless they have a problem. No problem. Mm, no, we're we're good. Problem. Good. We have no history right here. If you don't tell me what's up, I'm going to take you until you pee. Oh, please, I don't, I don't want to cut it out. Stop it. Yeah, know, he's not okay. in the mood. You weren't home last night, Anna. You went out. I was in the bushes on a stakeout with my iPod. I was. <laughs> I know it's a little weird, okay? But Very. I'm, I'm not seeing someone else. My parents are in town. That was my dad's car. Oh, there you go. We're being the parents, guys. Be yourself. That's what Anna likes, right? So will her parents. Really? Yeah. You can't be yourself. You <laughs> than yourself. Like, <laughs> That's the worst ten. thing about you. Not yourself. No. Be, 11. be myself. Yes. Rock and roll. Let's go. I'm going to make a fool of myself. Mm hmm. Absolutely. That's you being yourself, then. And I've always been on red because it reminds me of all the pain and suffering in the world. How noble. Any other bets? I'm in. All of it. Oh, Jesus. Always been on black. Which bets are in? 100,000 on black. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, come on, black. It's come not going to be black. It's going to be red. Do you guys do mulligans in real life? Son of a bitch. You'll excuse me. Chuck. Flash. Flash, dude. Flash. There we go. There we go. Something's wrong. I'm gonna go over. Chuck, you stay at the table. 
Mm. Right. Why are you being all jealous over here? It's your job, dude. Come on, dude. This yeah, is her job. What is the? Oh, okay. I'm like, what? Oh, Crown Victoria. Title. Get close to Longkirk by any means necessary. Are you yeah. saying she's gonna go down there and flirt with Longkirk alone? Yeah. Chuck, you're not playing this cool, man. I'll tell you where I don't want to see myself in five years. Prison or under house arrest. Do I mean, those are admirable goals, right? Shopping. Oh, this is not going well. You can't be yourself. You have to be better than yourself. Are oh, you guys having lobster? Could you bring back a donkey bag? When you guys eat Chinese food, do you get hungry an hour later, too? Oh my god, this is worse. This is worse. Oh no. Oh, this is going to be so bad. I can't. Go. Go away now. Yes, go away. Do not fuck this up. Do not fuck this up. Oh, another flash. Oh, shit. Is he going to be wrong? Is he going to be wrong? Oh, I knew that I was going to go really bad. Did you kiss me that night because you thought we were going to die and mine were the most convenient lips around? Or was it actually about me? About you. Option number what two. Option number two. One I will not make again. Right. Right. No one believes you, Missy. No one believes you. So until further notice, consider yourselves bitch. Great. Ever I just want to have a normal life. The choice we made to protect something bigger than ourselves is the right choice. Hard as that is for you to remember sometimes. I'll talk to Chuck. If I can't fix this, then I'm going to ask for a reassignment. Yeah, you ain't going anywhere. Don't worry about it. Switched him out? Look, I know that your orders are to stay away from this, but you have to believe me. The plates are on that boat, possibly with Morgan and Anna. Let's go. Like, we're going. Let's go. Let's ride. Let's go. Oh. Titanicking the boat. I love it. There's a GPS missile tracking device on the ship. We're going to blow it up. Yeah, I Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, are they going to have a fake fight in front of them? There it is. There he is. Yep. You're such, such bad at acting. You don't own me, Charles. Boom, 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 right in the face. Let's go. Oh, shit. Right at him. Oh, that was so lucky. It's going to go to the car. Oh, my God. It's going to go to the car. It's going to destroy the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah, about your car, dude. I'd be so pissed off. Everything that happened with Bryce, I'm not so good at relationships. And then that makes me good at pretty much nothing, I suppose. It makes you the perfect couple. And not just here fixing computers. The one that you didn't ask for, but we're supposed to have. We're so precious. Mistletoe. Oh God, how drunk is he? You'll thank me later, dude. I am calling to inform you that the beta version of the Intersect computer was successful. Oh, oh damn! Should be up and running soon. Roger that. I said this in the beginning. I would hate for you to be compromised. Oh, he's compromised. He's compromised. I understand my orders, General. All right, let's go down and talk about it. 
Well, that was the 11th episode of the first season of Chuck, titled Chuck vs. The Crown Vic. And this is an all right episode. Um, wasn't my favorite. I felt like the last couple episodes were just a little bit better. Um, but you can see they're still like trying to, they're still figuring the show out. And I think they're doing a good job of integrating the buy more plot into, you know, the spy plot. I felt like this was a great example of how they're starting to get the feel of how they're going to implement the two. And the way that they did this was by Anna's parents um, being in town and Morgan being introduced to them and she sees and he sees like Sarah on the yacht. But then also like Anna's parents are somehow like involved in all of this in terms of like they have the plates or something. So, you know, in order to say Morgan, you know, we have to reroute the, the missile in order to... Um, in order to save them. So I thought that was a very interesting and really cool way to integrate the two stories together. And I feel like they're definitely getting better about getting the feel on how to do that. Um, so that was cool. And then saw that they were going to blow up the car when they were trying to reroute the missile. It's like, oh yeah, that one has GPS. Yeah, they, they specifically in the show reference like it's got the GPS. So obviously very important which is why they were able to do that. So, but like everything to do with the plot of the guy on the boat, he had all this, like, I didn't care about that, to be honest. Um, wasn't that fascinating. It was like, it was kind of a, like a forgotten plot line. Um, not that memorable. The guy wasn't memorable. The whole thing was basically just to make Chuck jealous of everything that was going on. And Sarah's like, this is my job. This is what I do. So, you, you can't be jealous like that. Like, I'm doing my job here. Um, and just, they're still reeling from the Bryce thing and Bryce coming back and him leaving. And they're still trying to deal with all that. Um, and Sarah's lying to him, saying that when she kissed him, that um, it didn't, basically saying that it didn't mean anything or like it's not going to happen again. And I'm like, right. You just lied to yourself, girl. Girl, you lying to yourself. Because um, we all know that she loves him. I mean, what's not to love? I mean, he's fun. He's so dorky, but so charming. Like, the actor, he is just... Zach does a great job of just integrating the two so perfectly. That blend of charm and dork is amazing. He does such a good job of doing both. Like, all these actors do such a good job of just embodying their characters. Even, I will say, Morgan, I am not as annoyed with him as I was in the early episodes. Um, but like even the actor does a good job of just embodying Morgan and like all of these guys and the roles that they were hired to play, they do it very well. All of them are very good actors. Um, so yeah, like I said, um, they're just still reeling from, you know, the will they won't they of it all and their feelings for each other, but they're both denying it and all this stuff. Um, and of course, Casey got a phone call at the end that they're almost done with the new intersect. He's, I called it in the pilot. I called it that at the end of the season was when they were going to be done. And uh, Casey was going to have to decide whether to kill, um, whether to kill him or not, whether to kill Chuck or not. So I called it. Actually, it wasn't that hard to call, to be honest pretty self-explanatory to call but I knew like at the end of the season he was gonna have to make a choice and uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes um we'll see how much of a conflict it is for him obviously there's like I don't know how many seasons so obviously he doesn't kill him but I'm curious to see how much of a conflict it is for him and how once they find out that he that case was supposed to kill Chuck and he doesn't have that whole relationship dynamic I think it's gonna be very interesting to watch so um, like I said, all in all, not a great episode. I liked all the Christmas stuff. That was kind of fun. Um, I like we're getting more of Morgan and Anna and more into their relationship. I think they're actually kind of adorable um, together. So I hope they last at least for a little bit. Um, but they last forever, I don't know. But at least they last for a while, I hope. Um, but yeah. 
like I said, not, not you know, the most memorable episode, but not bad either. A lot of it has to do with just real, this uh, relationship dynamics between characters more than plot. Um, so in terms of the tally, we have one for stay in the car when they tell him to just, like, stay at the table. So we're at eight for that. We're at a plus four for flashes, so we're at 34 for that, and plus one for a fight scene, so we're at 23 for that one. So if you want to see my full reaction, please head over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Or hang out right here on YouTube. That's fine. Just be sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry, my notebook fell on the floor and kind of messed everything. Anyway, I'll just see you for the next episode, guys.